The Virgin Islands Shipping Registry is stepping up their education campaign to promote safe and responsible boating practices in observance of Boating Safety Week from Sunday, November 11th to Saturday, November 17th. Two important boating safety practices are knowing what every boat should be equipped with and the appropriate type of life vest to use. Marine Officer Dave Smith, speaking on JTV's talk show Spotlight, detail the essentials that every boat should have on board before leaving port. You need life jackets, you need some, uh, a song signaling device, which is some sort of horn. Uh, you need some flares, which is a distress if you're in distress. Uh, you should have a first aid kit on board. Um, a throw ring, which is something that uh, if somebody falls overboard, uh, this is a, 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 a one of the, the uh, it, it fits into a life jacket or a PFD that you can throw over, it floats, it has a rope on it and you can get the person back. Um, it can come in different forms as well, harsh. You should, you should never jump overboard and try to save a no, person. No, no, no. You already have somebody that's in trouble overboard, so why add a second? Mm -hmm. You know, so stay in the boat and try to, you know, get the person back. However, if you're going to maneuver the boat to go get them, um, or if you're going to use a sticker or um, a, a, a boat hook or whatever, but put something to the person and try to get them back. Last resort would be to put uh, a second person overboard. And if that has to happen, then you need to outfit that person with a life jacket proper, maybe a rope attached to them so that when they get the person, you can get them back. Another safe boating practice is ensuring that the correct type of life vest is used for the particular water activity. Certain life vests are designed to keep the wearer's head above water and help remain in a position that permits proper breathing. Smith also explained that particular attention must be paid to children's life vests. The type one and two, uh, for commercial vessels, they must have a uh, type 1 life jacket. And that life jacket has the best buoyancy, um, whether it's a kid or it's, a, well, I shouldn't say a kid, but a child or an adult. Mm -hmm. um, there's reflective um, tape attached to it. There's a light and there's a whistle attached to it. In case of nighttime, you could warn and then you could see the person as well. Yeah. Um, it also has a, sort of a, a pillow around the, the back of the head. Mm -hmm. And what that does is, even if you're an unconscious person, and say, for instance, you're unconscious on the vessel, but we need to get off this vessel, I can put you in this type one life jacket and throw you overboard and it would write you and keep your head up out of the water. So if you fall on face, face down in the, in the water, it'll correct. turn you over? It'll flip you over, which okay. our life jackets doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. the, the type three and the type four are mainly for, uh, let's say, water sports. You know, um, we go out water skiing or we're just going out on a leisure day on the boat and, uh, you know, we don't want to be, um, it's as if we can't move with this life jacket on. So choosing the, 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 the right life jacket is very important if you're going out to buy a life jacket, especially if you're going to buy one for a child. If you put the life jacket on the purse on the child, it must fit snugly, mm -hmm. number one. Um, if you, if you, you know, the shoulders, if you grab the shoulders of the life jacket and try to pull it up over the kid's head, if the chin and the, sh and the, 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 the ears slip through the life jacket, the life jacket doesn't fit. This year's Boating Safety Week is held under the theme, Safety is like clockwork, every second counts, and will feature a boat show at Village Key Marina on Friday, November 16th, with boating speed demonstrations and more. The pre-recorded interview with officials from the Virgin Islands Shipping Registry will be aired on Tuesday, November 13th at 8 p.m. right here on JTV Channel 55.